So let's watch an interesting video, and then let's talk. Meet another Trump prophetess by the name of Amanda Grace. Let's see what GOP Jesus has to say. And the Spirit of the Lord says this day, an acceleration is coming, my capital children, a catalyst that will cause an acceleration and a demise of those around the quote president, says the Lord, for they have miscalculated, says the Lord, they have made a major capital misstep and they shall tumble down the hill before winter, says the Lord of hosts. Now, he's not saying which ones, but you're going to see them, some of them before winter tumble down the hill. Yes, some shall tumble before winter. Others shall linger a bit longer in their seat. The seat of power has become the seat of stench, says the Lord of hosts. They have filled the capital with every foul, unclean creature, a haunt for jackals, a place for the satyrs to dance and praise their gods. You think you are the greatest of all time, says the Lord of hosts. Oh, you think. However, your name shall be a byword, a laughing stock, and a heifer you shall become for what you have done to my name, how you have attempted to smote it and smear it and exalt yourself above it. As Lucifer so whispered the temptations in your ear that you and your flesh were lulled right into the abyss of your own making. I can't believe people honestly fall for this crap. All of these Trump prophets, notice how they always push the date back. And they always give these vague prophecies. An acceleration is coming. Blah, blah. There's always some sort of expectation. You know, like, they got to keep people on the hook so that people will keep sending them money. All these prophecies do nothing more than tickle people's ears. People want the Biden, evangelicals want the Biden administration to fail. So they listen to people like this, send people like this money, instead of literally following the teachings of Jesus, because that's too hard. Loving enemies is too hard. Feeding the hungry, visiting the prisoner, doing the things that Jesus said to do, helping other people, that's too hard. So they have to listen to people like Amanda Grace, who always has a, there, there's always a, a hook that they try to hook them with. Oh, something's coming. And then they keep them on this hook by saying, oh, it's all in God's timing, blah, blah, blah. Their whole religion would crumble without Donald Trump. Oh, no, wait. They'd just find another person to prophesy over, another politician. Because you got to keep the money coming in. And you notice there's always like this talk about enemies falling. And that should be a serious red flag to evangelicals right there. But it's not. They want their enemies to fall because loving enemies is way too hard for them. Someone please dance up like a satire, a s whatever.